Can we talk about why every single brand is doing this? Why is every brand doing this? I don't get it. We're used to brands copying each other, right? But it's usually with, with like, um, products. One brand, like, releases a lip oil, and then suddenly every other single brand also has a lip oil, right? We're used to that. It's people trying to stay on trend, trying to sell products. But there has been this trend in advertising recently, in PR, right? And it's this kind of, like, theft. <laughs> It's, it's the same theme, theft or breaking news kind of theme. And I've seen it so many times and I'm like, what is happening? Have you all had the same, you know, PR team and they just couldn't come up with new ideas? Am I the only one who's noticed this? I'm gonna go through them all with you, right? There's five of them so far that have done this within this year. In the last few months, actually. So go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you don't know what to comment. Comment, breaking news. So I'm gonna go through these with you. I want you to tell me which one you think did it better because it's such a weird, I don't know what, I, you know, I get trends in makeup, I get trends in formulations, I get trends in fashion, but trends of you all doing the same kind of advert is so weird. So Elf did this, Elf were the kind of first ones. They did an actually really good high budget campaign where they had influencers and actors. I began to notice little things. When I added it all up, it made me think, there's someone stealing my makeup. They did this storyline of somebody has stolen someone's makeup. I think it was a girlfriend's makeup. And they had like the boyfriend and other people in for questioning. I actually went to an ELF event recently where they had this kind of setup. It was like a courtroom and we had Judge Rinda in. He's the UK equivalent of Judge Judy. And they had this, <laughs> it's really cute. Like they played out this courtroom scene of people paying too much for their makeup. We had some amazing food. It was, it was a really fun night. And the whole point was it's a crime to pay more. Like, you know, why pay more for products when you can actually get good decent products at a, a good price which i agree with but it was this whole crime scene situation all rise judge beauty is back beauty fades dumb is forever you're telling me you need to spend 92 dollars on foundation don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining i confess i just want it to look dewy radiant luminous glowy elf and hot yeah, but this stuff costs a fortune and it isn't even cruelty free judge beauty serves eyes lips facts in elf we trust now this was followed up by Charlotte Tilbury and I did a whole video on this. So if you want to watch the whole situation play out then go ahead and watch that. I'll link it down below or you can just type in Robert Charlotte Tilbury because I, I don't do any reviews on a product so that'll be the only thing that comes up. Uh, this was a missing lipstick situation. Not such a high budget to be honest with you. It was actually terrible, terribly low budget. And it was the mystery of who stole the lipsticks from the PR kits. Influencers were getting these PR kits and there'll be no lipsticks inside. It was speculated whether this was actually just a mistake that the PR team made, they forgot to put the products in the box, um, or whether it was actually a, a PR stunt situation. The influencers claimed not to have known. But I do have to say, after I posted the video about this, I had people who work for Charlotte Tilbury, all different levels, message me on Instagram, in my DMs, being like, don't say anything, I work for Charlotte Tilbury, um, this was planned. And then other people be like, this wasn't planned. So I still don't know if it was planned or not, and who knew within the company if it was planned or not. And it turns out, you know, the whole thing turned out that Charlotte Tilbury has stolen her own products for some reason. It didn't make sense, it was awful, it was just terrible. To our beloved Charlotte Tilbury community, We are deeply saddened and shocked to have discovered the disappearance of our Hollywood beauty icon lipstick collection. We invite anyone with any information to comment below at hashtag I am the lipstick finder. Thank you so much for your support in this difficult time. Wait, has anyone spoken to Bella and Sophia? I can't believe you think I'm a suspect. I would never steal Charlotte's DNA. It's crazy you would even think that. Sophia? Definitely suspect. You know what they say about makeup artists? Big makeup kit, big makeup collection. I also always see her sneaking around Charlotte's beauty bag. But it was this whole like crime spree situation, case files. I just, you know, it made me think it was like 
poorly done because there's some simple things like microphones. They were used like the, the phone sound. And it was only really took place on TikTok where the PR packages had been opened without the lipsticks, you know? And at the end, it was Charlotte Tilbury and she was sitting at home and stuff, said about. I'm Charlotte Tilbury. Why on earth would I steal my own lipsticks? I know nothing about a Hollywood heist. Come to think of it, I'm the one that should be reporting a beauty crime. I can be. Darling, so you've caught me pink and red-handed. Of course it was me who stole the lipsticks. Nobody else can steal my beauty DNA. Then we're moving on to Glow Recipe, right? This is a really strange one because it was kind of unnecessary. So they released, you know, they have their watermelon niacinamide drops, the like dewy glow thing. They released a new one, a bronzing one, right? It's a beautiful product. It's really, really nice. It looks great on all skin tones from what I've seen online. And I have one here also, and I tried it and I loved it. So I was actually at my brother James's house when he received PR for this. And he opened it up, being the skincare twin, he opened it up and there were six of this box inside, six of the same product. And we were like, oh my God, we've seen these. I've seen these online, they look really good. So we had seen a little sneak peek before. People knew that this was a product that was going to be released. And we were looking at them, we're like, are they different shades? Cause there's six of them all the same shade, six of exactly the same shade. We were like, why have they done this? Has, has other people did this? So we looked on our phones and our socials to see if other people were receiving six and they were. And then Glow Recipe released this video. People around the country have been receiving mysterious packages from Glow Recipe with what appears to be not only never before seen product, but six of them? It's literally not on the internet at all. I don't know if this is a mistake. They haven't said a word about it. I have no idea what this is. Glow Recipe, what is going on? All recipients reported that Glow Recipe has not given them any information as to what's inside these packages. We've asked Glow Recipe to comment on this bizarre series of events. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, they're choosing not to comment. What could this all mean? Is there a new product launching? Was this an internal leak? Who's getting fired? Can I have one? When will the public get their hands on this coveted, seemingly tinted serum? We'll keep you updated as we continue the investigation. And then Glow Recipe did these videos. This just in. We return here with a live update on the mysterious Glow Recipe packages being received around the country. We've just gotten word that Glow Recipe is in fact launching a new product inspired by their best-selling Dewdrop Serum. We're here with an exclusive sneak peek to this new formula. This is inspired by Dewdrops, with the exact same clinically effective niacinamide and hyaluronic acid base that makes skin glow instantly and brightens over time. The difference? It gives skin a warmer, radiant glow. Or might I say, hue. I have to admit, I was taken aback by the color at first. But it shears out, blending in seamlessly, giving my skin just a subtle wash of healthy looking color with a warm, natural glow. It still feels like it's giving skincare, it's not too makeup-y. Our sources tell us that Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops are set to release on the Sephora app February 22nd and online February 23rd. As for why Glow Recipe sent out these packages in such a peculiar way, we may never know. But what we do know is that these Hue Drops are going to sell out fast. It's the whole breaking news situation, which also happened in the Charlotte Tilbury one, like breaking news, this has happened, this has happened, but with zero answers as to why there were six in the box. So was this another PR mistake? Did they accidentally put six of the same product in this box? Because why would you need six? Why would one person need six of these products? But like the news report thing they did, did ab it didn't do anything, it didn't explain anything. We didn't, we didn't need that. <laughs> situation it was it was just so weird it's almost like a few of them it's like a panic and they were like oh we should we should be like oh breaking news as people are sending out six things it was very strange very strange so fenty also did one recently but listen this was art this was artsy it was high budget it's this film noir situation um and this was for a lip balm collab with fenty and asap rocky who is rihanna's partner I believe, don't quote me on that. I'm not a celebrity information person, uh, which is a beautiful lip balm, by the way. I love, love, love a lip balm. The video is called Born to Steal, and it's really, it's really cute. It's it's very much playing on the relationship, on relationships. So that kind of like typical relationship, and very relatable for some people in relationships. 
She was a classy dame, but she had odd ways of showing her affection. From leaving me out cold in the dark, to stealing my heart, and my stuff, the male chooses his attire carefully. Although the female's choices are endless, she borrows from the male for her camouflage. She showed her affection in peculiar ways. She was warm in bed, but liked leaving me out in the cold. Nine-year-old metro girl thanks to She had charm in spades, but it seemed mine suited her more. Butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. This is obviously like elf level budget, you know, <laughs> like they, they planned it, they did really well, they scripted it, there's a story to it, but actually plays out nicely. It's relatable, it's funny, but also like really cute and stylish. But again, it's a, it's it's the whole stealing thing, which I think was cute. And the whole news report of newspapers, you know, that kind of situation. Huda Beauty, very, very recently, and I'm talking the other day, they did this release with Glamzilla, who's like news reporting, again, breaking news, Something's been stolen. It's like, another one, another one. They, but you know, they actually do a great job in this video. I think it's actually quite funny. Um, the energy is there. It's a, it's a really, it's a really um, good video. And I think what's happened is they've stolen the fragrance from the powder. So the um, Easy Bake powders from Huda Beauty have a, a fragrance to them. I personally don't mind fragrance. I actually like fragrance in my products because I just like the experience of it. I, I don't know whether they're discontinuing all the fragrance ones or if it's a fragrance-free version, um, but they're like, oh wow, the fragrance has been stolen from the powder and now put into this perfume, which I think they're also releasing. This just in, the fragrance from the internet's favorite, Easy Bake, has been stolen. Easy Bake has left without the iconic scent. Easy Bake is now fragrance free. You heard me right, fragrance free. We've got a reporter live at the Easy Bake Labs. Over to you, Steph. I've got the chief scientist here with me. Tell us, what happened? Well, I don't know, but one moment the fragrance was there, and then poof, it was gone. But we did catch them on camera. Will the beauty community ever recover from this? Are we gonna have backless faces on the streets? Will we be unsnatched forever? Why would anyone do that? But more importantly, where has all the fragrance gone? <laughs> And it turns out in the end, Charlotte Tilbury style, that it was actually Huda and um, Glamzilla who stole the fragrance. It's very, it's very um, chaotic. It's, it's very high energy. Who's next? Who's next? Who's the next person to be like, oh, someone stole shit from us and, and you know, it was me. Who is next on the list? Let me know your opinions down below. Who did it better, in my opinion? Elf and Fenty are joint. Elf because the originators, but Fenty because I really like the the style. Let me know. <laughs> Consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.